Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2. Last time we left off at the Central Drain Lake Castle Bonfire after progressing through a hefty chunk of castle and defeating the twin dragon riders. So, let's pick up right there and continue. <clears throat> All right. This is where we came from. Yeah, this is the twin dragon rider room. So what do we have here? We have stairs up or down. Let's go down first. All right. That doesn't look good. Can't seem to interact with that lever. It's locked. And here's a ladder going up. All right. Wow, this is a long ladder. I see more stone soldiers. I didn't want you to close the door, I wanted you to read the message. Idiot. Sniper spot? Oh yeah, stone soldiers. None of those were close enough to the golem, so... Let's bait the others over here. tell what that did. <clears throat> Illusory wall ahead. Are you lying to me? Night Hammer. An undated great hammer, wielded by a warrior from a time so ancient that there exists no record of his endeavors, has extremely low durability. Sometimes, just as a thing falls to pieces, it unleashes its last flash of great power. Katha's Chime and Soul Greatsword. Sacred Chime blessed by Katha, Goddess of Tears, Hex-dedicated catalyst, cannot be used to cast miracles. Katha, the Goddess of Tears, is known as a compassionate being that is with us in times of tragedy, but some believe that she is a demoness that guides us toward misfortune. And Soul Greatsword. 
A sorcery that attacks foes using a sword made of souls. Energy is focused in a single point and wielded as a sword with both hands. Use of this sorcery is not too dissimilar to swordplay and so inherently dangers the caster. Endangers the caster. Well, that's interesting. Oh boy. <clears throat> Whoa. What the F? Oh, I see. There are douche there be douchebags up on the balcony. I mean, let's take down the snipers. Whoa. Shooting at me. Oh, my goodness gracious. That was rough. Alone Captain Helm. I think I've seen that before. Yes. Alright, good. Ten fire great arrows. Great arrows imbued with fire, tipped with charcoal pine resin. Weapons fortified with fire are effective against foes vulnerable to fire, such as undead or beasts. If you require magic but have learned none yourself, these will serve you well. Alright. Let's go to the other balcony. There's another chest there. Firestorm. That sounds like pyromancy. An ancient primal pyromancy. Pillars of flame erupt near the caster. The firestorm is said to be the wrath and ire of the spell's creator. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, goody. Okay, well it looks like I can bait just the Primal Knight. That has utility. Commit! Do an attack! guys can those guys can make me all the way dead with one attack if I'm not careful all right so this elevator has been activated I think that's what the golem did but I want to just get back to where I died and try to get my souls I'll keep going that way first The 
big question is, is it possible to juke these guys? Maybe? Is the answer? Seemingly? guys I don't understand their attack patterns so it is definitely possible to juke the stone soldiers that's good this is a very annoyingly long run There's another stone soldier spear. I really wish I could avoid aggroing those captains. But it seems I probably can. It would be great if I could pull them into this room, though. Any of them. Oh, balls. I hate archers, man. I hate archers. They're the worst. Okay, good. He is still following. He is still after me. I'm pretty sure he can fit through that door. Come on now. the damn snipers. <laughs> Case in point. Now I have to do the whole fucking ladder climb again. <sighs> 
trying not to fight the archers is more pain, more trouble than it's worth. I'm just gonna have to suck it up and go kill them. Or at least the first two. And two-handing isn't going very well. I may be able to save myself at least some hassle. Oh hey, the stone soldiers didn't even animate that time. I mean, that's good. It's something. What the F? Terrible. I don't know what the fucking camera was doing, but it really screwed me over on that one. Oh boy. He got fast, somehow. Alright. That was two. Thank you. Finally gonna get through this room. That second hit should have broken his poise. God damn it. I just want to be through this fucking room. It's horrible. So if I'm really careful, I can avoid even waking these guys up. Quickness seems to be the key. As for these guys... The likelihood I'm going to lose my 15,000 souls here is very high. And I just have to make my peace with that, I think. Good God. 
Tell me what planet that's fair on. You need to make up your mind, game, about whether or not two hits is enough to break poise, alright? I can't exist in this world where it sometimes does and sometimes doesn't. Jibbies are rustled. This is pissing me off, man. I don't like it at all. Fuck you. Mastodon armor. Well then. Let's have a look at that. Armor worn by the Primal Knights of Drang Lake Castle. Its weight would normally crush a man, but the Primal Knights wear it as if it were silk, so fearsome is their brute strength. The king restored a forbidden, long-lost art to create these inhuman abominations. Okay. Now, let's just... Let's try not getting cocky this time. Just because the big guy's dead. Fuck! I wasn't even cocky. This. Their AI insisting on the buddy system is not good for me. It either is enough poise damage or it isn't. It's supposed to be a stable fucking number. See, if I commit to that second hit because the first guy staggered on the second hit, then you know full fucking well the reason I committed is because you showed me a stagger on hit number two. If I'm supposed to learn the patterns, then there needs to be a fucking pattern. Anyway, that was fucking bogus. I'm sick to fucking death of this room. You have got to be kidding me! God damn it! <sighs> oh great, now my controller DC'd. Hold on. Thank you. This is fucking ladder wasn't so long. Alright. 
Oh fuck, here we go again. It did it again! It did it again! Mother of God! You can't just... You can't make a combo stagger them some of the time, okay? That's just bullshit RNG fucking fuckery. The whole idea is to be able to learn the patterns, right? Well, either a two-hit strong attack combo does or doesn't stagger the fucking hell. I don't have time for this. Stop it. Stop the fucking disconnect. I mean it. All right, I'm officially yelling at my computer as if it's a sentient being that's disconnecting on purpose just to spite me. I've hit that level of anger, which means it's most definitely time. Oh, fuck, really? What happened? Why did that happen this time? Just thought it would be fun if these guys got a chance to kill me. I mean, apparently. Oh, for fuck's sake. When I push square, you drink the Estus flask, okay? God damn it. This is getting ridiculous. I'm doing worse every time. And I don't know why. But yeah, I'm frustrated, but I'm still executing the exact same moves. See, that time, it staggered him. What I need is just an ounce of consistency on the poise come, on the poise break. I just need to know if two hits is enough or not. Sometimes is an unacceptable answer. It's an answer that's rooted in fuckery an RNG instead of get good. Alone Great Bow. Unique bow equipped by Alone Knights. This very powerful bow uses great arrows, but each draw of the string requires a great deal of time, leaving the shooter vulnerable. In the heyday of his land, the old Iron King fancied entertaining dubious and eccentric guests from faraway lands. Most of them were charlatans, but among the riffraff was an unusual knight from the Far East. He trained the Iron King's men in the sword in obeisance to his new lord. Yeah, all right. I can take out the primal with my great fireballs. <clears throat> Which I very much want to do. And now, oh, all my heart wants is for these guys to stop the fuckery! Alright? I can't fight you both at the same time. This buddy, this buddy system shit will not stand. Get over here. Stop retreating! I'm 
learned my lesson. We're going to full health for the last guy. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Monastery charm. Alright, I mean, I've already had those, but okay. Now what? Oh, oh why? Why? It had to be the thing that can one-shot me, didn't it? Okay. Hmm. Oh, you have no, 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 no. Stab him? That would sure help. Why, well, it appears the answer is yes. Yes, I can backstab. Draw your bow. Draw it. Nice. Okay, yikes, yikes, yikes. All right. Mm. What's in here? Five repair powders, ten flame butterflies. Ooh, Estus flask shard. Hey, hey, hey. All right, I suppose, I suppose that's worth the hassle. Hi. I recognize you. I'm not a fan. You must know. Oh, and look at this loop. We're back. Praise the sun! Alright. Well, and that's actually pretty good, because... Suddenly it collapses my options to one. The elevator I called earlier. Is that a shard you here to see luck? However... Yes, please. I have enough to level up. Not quite. Do I have any soul items? Oh. 
Oh yeah. Is that enough? Bear seeks seek less than. Truly about as close as you can possibly get without actually being there. Alright, let's do one more. Bearer of the seek seek less. Say I may actually be able to get two levels. It looks like I can. Strength is at 37. Three more and we hit the soft cap and I'll start working on bigger. Wow, there's still a lot of bonfires to find. That surprises me. Regardless. <coughs> Let's head back to Central Drang Lake Castle. We are powered up. This is all there is. Examine. No key to the embedded in inventory. Okay, I'll have to come back later. Who's in here? I can't talk to her, but there's someone in there. Alright, well. Let's hit it. Key to King's Passage. Interesting. Key to the King's Passage inside Drang Lake Castle. King Vendrick tried all manner of things to purge the curse that threatened his kingdom, but when every last attempt failed, the king fled through the King's Passage. Soul vessel and a fire seed. Strong magic shield. That's a sorcery. Imbues offhand shield with magic. Reinforce shield to absorb additional damage. Certain members of the Melthian Magic Academy scoff at these types of magic. The purists in particular are disdainful of anything vaguely linked to sword fighting.
used key to King's Passage. Oh wow. This looks imposing. King's Passage. Looks like I should be able to examine it. maneuvering. Oh, hi, buddy. One life gem. Three alluring skulls. Soul of a proud knight and a twinkling titanite. All right. Now, uh, this is our second Benhard of Jugo summon through here. So let's use a human effigy and let's give it a whirl. I'm gonna use that regular ass life gem I just picked up. All right, buddy. Yes, please, come along. Go. Looking glass night. Interesting fight. What is he doing? Oh no, he summoned help? What? Last night sold. Achievement unlocked, looking glass night. Alright. Well hey, you know what? That wasn't too bad.
soul of the Looking Glass Knight who challenges visitors to the Lordless Castle. Long ago, the King's Passage was a route taken by the bravest warriors to prove themselves, but now it only prevents one from pursuing the runaway king. Use the special soul of this knight to acquire numerous souls or to create something of great worth. All right, now that's two successful summons for Benhart, which means <clears throat> we only need uh, wrong magic shield. Okay. Alright, so we only need to summon Benhart one more time, and uh, we'll have the difficult parts of his quest solved. Praise the sun! <laughs> yes, indeed. Soul Bolt, Spell Quartz Ring plus two, and three Bonfire Ascetics. All right, well, let's look at those. A ring bestowed upon students of a certain standard at the Melfian Magic Academy. Its soul-based quartz increases magic defense. Pyromancer Glocken crafts these replicas, much to the dismay of the conservative old guard faculty. And what did I get? Soul Bolt? One of the sorceries devised by Strayed, the great mage of ancient Olephus, fires a blinding, piercing bolt of light. Strayed started with an unwieldy spell that backfired on its caster, and in time, perfected it. Fascinating. Okay. Now, what's down here? Something terrible, I'm sure. it is, it's taking us a long way. Alright, well we're in that moment where I'm human, so I don't need the Ring of Binding. I'm gonna put on... I'll put on the Ring of Restoration. I like regenerating my health. Oh, this looks inviting. Hey, a green blossom. Yay. Shrine of a mana. Well, let's light the bonfire. Let's go to Majula and level up. A small, smooth, and silky stone. Must have forgotten. Alright. Let's see what Strayed can do with the Looking Glass Knight Soul. And we'll turn in that small, smooth, and silky. And then I think we'll call it good, because <laughs> I first tried the boss. Oh, good. Good, we've finally been here 12 times. I like that. All right. Oh, I guess it's a wondrous soul. 
I need to take it to Ornithax. Well, all right. I don't really love going to Seldora, but we do what we must. I'm amazed I haven't been here 12 times yet. I keep thinking I'm playing Resident Evil 4, double tapping A to try and kick the door open. Fast instead of slow. You guys know what I mean? I think you do. Oh, for the love. Like, how fast can they cast that shit? Thank you. My god. If you provide a one, I recall. Oh yes, here we go. Thorned Greatsword. A greatsword forged from the soul of the looking glass knight. Strong attack unleashes its latent power. Fearing something wicked, the king fled the castle and never returned. But his warrior, forever true to his commands, stands ready to expunge those who would challenge him. Effect special attack, strong attack. King's Mirror, a great shield created from the soul of the Looking Glass Knight, can deflect spells. The Looking Glass at the castle is said to have been a passage to another world. Great Shield, Strike Spell Parry. Interesting. Come again, if it please you. I am curious what the Basilisk dropped. A Fire Drake Stone. Alright, now... I want to head to Things Betwixt, and turn in my small, smooth, and silky. And then I've got... Cl I'm close enough to a level up. I want to, uh... I want to grind up to my next one. Just so I don't run the risk of losing, you know, half of the souls I got for beating the looking last night. Come on. Go, go, give it move. Yes. I was gonna say say you're fine. Come on. Life gem. Not that awesome, but it isn't not awesome either. And it's one more heal, right? Alright, let's go. So as I mentioned, by far the best place to grind souls, well, probably simply because they don't spawn, uh, they don't ever despawn. Is the uh... oh not the forgotten chamber? That's not the one. King's Gate. That's the one. King's Gate is the one. All right, let's go. Yeah, so by all accounts, I'm actually only halfway through the game.
Come here, you. I don't think I'll need another sentinel. My hope is that... Another stone warrior or two should be enough. And holy shit, there's a titanite slab. Oh hi. I guess you're out to play. Titanite slab. And that that was the thing I forgot actually forgot to look at. I have one chunk and two slabs. Let, let me head to Majula right quick. One more point in the strength, then I'm gonna start working on vigor. I'm gonna take it to 20 after I strength is 40. Alright. Yeah, so I need chunks, but the two slabs. That'll be everything. That's pretty wild. <laughs> Don't waste my time. Now, I also. Didn't Gavlan hang out in the doors of Pharos? Right by, uh, Gurm's respite. I recall him being over here. Rusted Mastodon Gauntlets. Which I'll have to look at after I also fight this guy. Gurm Great Hammer. Alright, let's look at that. A great hammer used by the nomadic Gurm, a makeshift weapon created from a blacksmith's anvil, as heavy as it appears. Crafted rather shoddily, but each hit landed is certain to inflict serious damage. And then we have our rusted mastodon gauntlets. Gauntlets worn by the primal knights of Dreng Lake Castle. Durability is low due to rusting. Its weight would normally crush a man, but to the brutish primal knights it may as well be made of papyrus. And I think Gavlon stays here now. Right, like if I go to wherever he was. He was up these stairs, wasn't he? Yeah, he hangs here, he stays. Nice. You so I can sell him stuff. That's awesome. Alright, Bucko. Let's clean out my inventory again.
This even isn't even about the souls, per se. It's about cleaning up my inventory. All the souls are nice. They're gonna gain me some levels. I'm gonna hold on to the smelter demon stuff. I mean, just in case. I have to fuck around with fire again later. I'm also gonna go ahead and start selling um, some rings. I can definitely sell the lower level versions of the ones I've got better versions of. Plus ones I'm never going to use. Of. Never gonna use a crossbow, so I can sell all my bolts. Keep my arrows. What else am I just not gonna use? These are all potentially useful. don't care about infusions, I've noticed. I'm trying to think. Um, the shield I'm ultimately going to pick up still uses, I think, regular Titanite. Let me double check on that. I can't tell if the Drake Keeper Great Shield, which is the one I ultimately want to use, I think it uses regular Titanite, so I need to hold on to all my regular Titanite. I'll hold on to my Twinkling too, for now, and my Dragon Bones. Uh, but what I'm not going to do is any more infusions. So I can sell these off. And I can actually sell off the fire seeds because my pyromancy flame is maxed out. There we go. That was worth it. Yeah, I don't know what the exact numbers are for my regular Titanite upgrades. 
but I'll just... I don't need to sell that now. I can come back and do it after I find that and do the upgrades. See? Mm. Alright. Well, now let's level up again. Until up. Okay. One more to strength. Then I'm going to start raising vigor. Excellent. 11 to Vigor, 10 to Adaptability, and then we'll start doing Faith and Intelligence for Achievement. So 11 to Vigor and 10 to Adaptability and the stuff I actually want for my character will be done, which is pretty neat. Alright, let's head to the Shrine of Amana and let's call it an episode. This has been Let's Play Dark Souls 2. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you will give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. If you care to discuss this or any of my other content, the best place is my Discord server. There is a link in the video description that I set to never expire. Discord has a habit of expiring my links anyway. Uh, if that has happened, please feel free to contact me directly, and I will be more than happy to send you an invite. Another disconnect. What timing? Um, oh, fuck's sake, really? Another one? Two in a row. Uh, I'll be more than happy to send you an invite if the link isn't working and you contact me directly. Um, if you care to support me or the channel, the best way, apart from liking and subscribing, is through my Patreon page. Uh, Patreon supporters get to nominate and vote for the games they would like to watch me play on the channel. I'm currently working my way through Outer Wilds in that slot. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, once a game is chosen, I play it through all the way to the end in my aggressively completionist style, even including achievements, and once it's finished, I have my supporters choose another. So if that process interests you, that link is also in the video description. Uh, regardless, I really do want to thank you for watching. I am grateful for your time and attention. I appreciate you. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.